Hey there, Ari from the Tech Buyers Group, checking out the Wide Charge booth at CES 2020. Occasionally, I come upon something while I'm at CES that truly blows my mind, and Wide Charge is doing it here. Let me show you what this is doing. They are using infrared to beam electricity. Now, this is a toy train set, and what it's doing is it actually has an infrared receiver on it and is getting electricity from above. It has no batteries. It is not being charged. It's actually getting a sufficient flow of electricity from above from this infrared transceiver to power the train in constant motion. And you can see a couple of different the transmitters up here, different sizes for different applications. Now this one is being positioned above a mock bathroom and an example of what you might use it for, I'll show you in a moment, uh, this would be, now you'd say, well I don't, how can I mount that in my bathroom? Well actually you can actually just plug it into a lamp socket. Take a look at that. There's an infrared receiver or a transmitter and here's another one. But you may think, well, I don't have an industrial complex I can install this in. Well, maybe it's not that hard. And what it's doing is powering this self-running faucet, this uh, the motion sensing faucet. It's got that infrared transmitter right above it. It's beaming down electricity to the receiver on top of the faucet. It's running a little screen. And this isn't just an auto sensing uh, faucet. It actually also has an infrared beam in it or UV light to test whether or not your hands are fully clean. Here's another obvious example, a Sloan self-flushing valve. In most cases, you either have to have a hard wire, where of course it has to be installed ahead of time, or it's gonna be battery powered, and it's gonna run out regularly. Let me show you a couple of other really great examples for smart home use. So you know if you follow my channel that I'm really interested in smart locks, and I actually profiled a few at CES this year. Well, this is a Schlage smart lock that does have a battery installed, but that battery is getting a constant charge via an IR receiver, and that charge is coming from above. So one of the constant problems I have with smart locks, including this one, I actually own this one, is that the batteries only last three to six months. But here, the battery pack has been amplified because it has an IR receiver on it. So it can always be getting a small charge. Because it does have batteries, it doesn't have to get a full it doesn't have to get the full wattage that it requires at all times. It just needs to be positioned below that IR transmitter and get a slow trickle charge so your batteries are always still there to run that lock when you need it to. I really like that example because that's an example I actually have problems with in my smart home. Now let me show you a couple of other examples. Now one of the things they're very excited about is charging kiosks. So this is a Qi charger. And this is something you might deploy, say, at a restaurant or a bar, or you might want to give patrons the convenience of charging their phones, but without needing to give them a cable to plug in. And this, of course, is going to be charged by an IR transmitter above. So this device doesn't need to be plugged in either. No wires running across your tables or your bars. And another important thing here is that this device actually can't function without the transmitter, so it doesn't have a lot of value if it's stolen. Of course, the thief may not know that ahead of time, but you can probably put a notice here, uh, will not work without transmitter. Of course, then they may climb up on the ceiling and try to steal that as well. But this would be for uh, commercial installations. You could also use something like this at home if you want to charge a device at home. But this is really for commercial installation. Another example, how about an Amazon Alexa that doesn't need to be plugged in. I really like that example. I think that's a fantastic application so you can put your Amazon Echo wherever you want. Now, Ycharge is partnering with a number of brands, Hansgrove, Schlage, Sloan, Amazon, to get those IR receivers installed in devices out at retail. They anticipate that this will probably take place over the next 12 months and hopefully by the by the end of 2020, you'll actually be able to buy some of these products and of course the transmitter that you see above there. Uh, Ycharge would probably sell those at first, but in the long run, it just wants to be the licensor of this technology. It's not necessarily gonna sell Ycharge branded products at retail. If you have any questions about this technology, please post them down below. And of course, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe. I'll catch you soon.